Howdy, Uncle Deke here. This is a two part two for your money video. Product review. A little bit of uh, tutorial. I started out, what, what I wanted was something to help me know what my voltage was doing on my quadcopters without adding a lot of weight. And I didn't really want to add an OSD because I don't plan on going very far with them. And all I really know, want to know is how much battery is doing. So I started out with this screwy thing called a Quantum. And it has a, it's a good idea. Uh, you plug this into the balance port on up to an 8 cell battery. And um, like this. Okay, and the little light beeps, blinks, right there. And you turn this thing on, and this says it's ready to go. And you can set it on any one of these settings. And what it is is per cell. So you can set it on 3.7 volts per cell. 3.6, Makes sense. If you want what your minimum voltage is per cell, and it and it will average them all together, but come up with the lowest one of the cells. And when it gets down to that point, supposedly, it vibrates and beeps. And you can put it in your shirt pocket. And it, I thought it was a great idea. Small, there's nothing to it, it just fits on here. This thing doesn't weigh anything at all. It's got its own antenna. Uh, broadcasts out to this. Great idea. Only problem is, don't work. I don't care what setting you put on, as soon as you add a little bit of draw to that, that battery from the motors, it starts beeping. And it just was, well, junk with a capital J. So we're gonna toss this into the wish I hadn't bought it bin. Okay, told you it's a two-part deal. Second thing we got right here is another quantum battery checker. Okay, it fits on your radio like this. And you turn it on. You get a nice big screen. Well, that's going to tell me I don't have anything going in yet. So let's lay this down. And we'll plug in the rest of it. Now, I bought extra pieces. Essentially, all you need is this piece right here. This is the transmitter. It has its own antenna on it. And you plug that in again to the balance port on the battery. Okay. And now it's reading. And what that does is tell you the voltage per cell and has an alarm built in, has lots of parameters and tells you how many amps you're going to be drawn if you get the uh, inline uh, sensor. Okay, So basically this would tell you your voltage total and voltage per cell. Now you got to look at it to be able to see it. It does have a beeper I think. Okay. I went ahead and got the sensor. I covered it in um, heat shrink. But it's a typical voltage sensor. And it senses the draw. So what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do here is connect this. But, well, we've already got this connected up right here. I put a little Velcro on my battery so it'll stay there. And stick that on there. Then I stick 
plug this in to my voltage sensor. Okay. Now, what we can do is we push this button, and now we got a whole bunch of things. We got voltage, overall, per cell. We've got how many amps it's drawn, how many, and I've got it set for a four cell battery. So this is, this is my minimum voltage on a four cell battery. And this is a temperature sensor. Now here's the temperature sensor right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, I'm going to tape that to my battery. You can put it anywhere you want to, they didn't move it. And that will give your voltage or your uh, temperature. Now let's see what it does. On this puppy. Of course, no propellers. I'm going to put my hand on the temperature gauge. Just start going up. Now it's not drawing very many amps, but the motors are just sitting there spinning. You can see the overall voltage dropping. You can see how close all of the cells are in the battery. And you can see because I'm touching it with my hand, temperature sensor is going up. And I'm using some milliamps right here. This is a 2650 uh, milliamp battery, so that's what it's reading. Start with. Okay, we'll see how it works. Now I'm actually going to hook this up on uh, on one of my quads that has a four cell battery, and um, give me an idea. Now the only bad part of this is you have to look at it, but the quad I'm going to put it on has NASA, so if I need to, I can just w stop and take a look at it. Um, and it does have an alarm on it. Haven't actually had it said come on yet. It operates on 2.4 gigahertz. Lots of discussion on Hobby King's page. How could it work, you know, being on top of a 2.4 radio? Uh, we'll see. Uh, could take it off and toss it. It fastens on to the antenna couple metal clamps and it can move like that so if you got it on a tray like I do it'll turn and you can see it like that okay we'll see how that works out this is the overall um, view of it now it's using amps right now there's nine tenths of an amp draw because I've got two big lights on the front of this silly thing and I put the temperature thing on there a while ago and it was bordering on 90 degrees on those LED lights so interesting interesting anxious to see how it works it was not easy to get set up um, there are no instructions and even what you find on Hobby King site really doesn't get you there. Uh, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't mess with it. We'll see. This is sort of a tease. I'll give you the uh, flight test later on and we'll see how it works out. Uncle D. Cat.